Hi Leos, uh, Island Turtle here. Welcome to Balmy Spirit. This is going to be your monthly intuitive messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. There's a part two over on Patreon and Vimeo. Links are below for your convenience. Let me put this on Do Not Disturb because that's going to make me crazy. <laughs> it's going to make me really nuts. Okay. Hi. Welcome. Also, just to let you guys know, there's been some revamping as far as websites are concerned. Bombyspirit.com is, is going through a renovation right now. So you can find everything on Island Turtle Magic with a CK. Um, again, also listed below for your convenience, okay? Um, over on islandturtlemagic.com, we do have a page for Bommy Spirit and all of the members of Bommy Spirit. If you are looking for um, Reiki services, if you're looking for a ceremonialist or a tea ceremony or astrology services or even personal training, go ahead and check that out, okay? All right, anyway, so coming back. Leos, hi. Hope you're doing well with all the Scorpio energy. The Scorpio energy has been a little intense. I'm recording on the 15th, so it's just a couple days after the new moon. The moon is now in Sagittarius the day that I'm recording, um, and it feels very fast-paced today, but we're here to talk about you. Um, Leo's tuning into your energy. Um, there's kind of a Saturnian energy with you. Hold on a second. Clyde. Can you make up your mind, please? He's been doing that for the last few days. Anyway, Leo's, let's talk about you. Um, there's a Saturnian energy that I'm feeling. Are you ready to do what you know you need to do? Are you ready to say the thing you know you need to say? Are you ready? Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? It's like, it's got that kind of vibe to you right now. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the Energy Oracle cards. All the decks that I use are listed below for your convenience. <sighs> yeah, Leo, it's got this feeling of you cannot avoid this anymore, um, whatever this is for you. And I think you know what it is. It's like it's very being being made very clear to me. You know what this is because you've been avoiding it for so long. Keep in mind, this doesn't have to be you. It could be someone you're dealing with. This could be something internal and emotional. This could be something very physical in, li in life, like your health or something having to do with work or just something that you need to, like, take care of. That's how it's coming up. Like, take care of this because you know you needed to take care of this. The camera feels a little high. I feel like I'm, like, straining my neck to look up at you guys. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. Leo's. Yeah, it's got a clean, clean house energy. Like clean. Clean this up. Take care of this. Cross your T's, dot your eyes. It's got a it's got a firmness to it too. Like, like you know you need to do it. Like you know you need to do it. Any messages or insights for Leo? Wow. Well, your chakra coming up here. The solar plexus chakra coming up here. <sighs> Have confidence that you can do this, Leo. You just you just gotta go there. I like the message is very repetitive. You just have to go there. You just have to go there. You just gotta go there. You gotta face this. You gotta deal with this. You gotta clean this up. You gotta close this out. You gotta say this thing. You gotta do this thing. Whatever it is, it feels like it's been like hanging in the air for a long time. And they keep telling you, you know what this is. This is a general reading, so it's not gonna be for everybody. So just know that if you're not resonating with this, you're not resonating with this. But there are some Leos that gotta take care of business and they know it. They know it. And this is about having the confidence to do that. For some of you where this is more of an emotional thing, um, this is about this is about go going within and facing yourself. Cornucopia. Cornucopia is a card of blessings. You got 10 and 11 coming up here, which basically is 111. If you break 10 down, it's a one, right? You just, it's repetitive. You just got you got to take care of this. You got to take care of this. Cornucopia is kind of like Ten of Pentacles in a way. It's like it's getting to that state of feeling very fertile and abundant and feeling good and feeling like life is rich and that you are more than supported or more than taken care of or you have more than what you've asked for or more than what you want. Whatever this thing is you need to take care of can move you into that feeling or move you into that experience. 
Some of you are having a hard time actually believing that that's possible, believing that that's actually the case, <clears throat> but it is the case. But it is the case. A lot of gold too. I'm noticing all the yellow and gold just in these two cards alone. Let's see what else wants to come up for you and then we'll move on to another deck. Any other messages or insights from my Leos? Water. They're bringing up water. Why are you bringing up water for my lions? And that to me says emotional. That to me says emotional. Mm, overall, we have garden in the gate. Again, you're just, this is like, hey, go there. Confront this thing. Do this thing. The thing you haven't done. <laughs> it's like, because it's like, especially with the garden in the gate, it's, do you have the confidence and the faith to move beyond your safety zone, move beyond your comfort zone, move beyond the familiar? Uh, I keep getting it's like emotion. The emotions are a big part of this. The solar plexus is an emotional center as well. Um, there's a big emotional component here for you, Leo. This is about going where you haven't gone before, doing the thing you've been avoiding doing, looking at the thing you've been avoiding looking at. It makes you uncomfortable. Interesting, underneath that, we have the third eye chakra with broken heart. Some of it is about to take accountability. Accountability of your own emotions, accountability of, of, of yourself, accountability of, thank you, of your experience. You want to have this experience? You want to have the cornucopia experience? Take accountability for what is within your control to have that experience in your life. I feel like I'm talking to Leos where there's some emotional stuff you're not wanting to look at. Or some things that have been going on in your life that have been putting you in this state of, bro of avoiding the broken heart, avoiding what is making you uncomfortable, avoiding what makes you unhappy. Avoiding the truth and reality of what's making you unhappy. I do feel a little bit of like, how do I want to say this? Projecting? Yeah, that's, I guess, that's what I'm feeling. Feeling like projecting onto other people or projecting your discomfort and pain onto like others or making it other people's problem. Um, that's not for all of you, but that's for some of you. This is about just looking at it. Just look at it. Just look at it and take accountability for it. So if any of you tend to be in like the, the realm of martyrdom or victimization, um, something to pay attention to, something to pay attention to. This is your life and this is your story. You want this, you can have this, but you have to be accountable to where the, where the parts of you are, you're not holding yourself accountable. Just keep it, put it that way. Okay. You're responsible for your own emotions. Put it that way. All right, let's pull from another deck here. Yeah, let's do the power of elements. I have really been loving this deck recently. Really been loving that deck. Okay. Any other messages or insights for my lions? Ooh. <laughs> deck exploded. Hold on. <laughs> any other messages or insights for my lions let's see here have faith for your own healing this is emotional this is a card of air um but this is a, actually this is a card that speaks to accountability you can only have a reality or an experience that can match your parameters of belief, right? It's like the parameters of your own belief, your own faith, your own trust, your own perception sets the limitations of the experiences you can have. Because even if something is present in your life, if you just, if you don't believe it, you'll never emotionally experience it, okay? Have faith for your own healing. Again, Leo, this is just about going there. This is just about going there and facing it and being accountable to yourself and the reality that you're allowing yourself to live in. 
It's coming down to, to your faith and self as well. Can I get another card for my lions, please? Ooh, with cornucopia, we have new beginning and flow with life. Again, this is something that you can have and is available to you. But it's a matter of you taking accountability of self in order to actually experience it. Again, accountability to your own healing process, accountability to your own belief, accountability to your own faith, and accountability to the things that you have been ignoring and not looking at and not seeing. Okay, again, I keep getting for some of you, there is this like blaming of others or projecting onto others or projecting into your reality there, um, where there's a need to see that this that is something that you're doing, okay? Anything else for my lions? Let's see, we got another card out here. Break away, grow and expand with life. Really get out of your own story, Leo. Get out of your own story, get out of your comfort zone and just do the uncomfortable thing. Do the uncomfortable thing, say the uncomfortable thing, do the, like, go to the uncomfortable emotional place. Even underneath broken heart, we have goddess of the moon, intuition and emotions, right? Go there, go there. Overall, we have embrace life, be true to your authentic self. Stop avoiding these pieces of you. Stop avoiding what makes you unhappy. If you wanna be happy, how do you expect to be happy if you're gonna avoid looking and taking care of the things that make you unhappy, right? Right, right. Um, this was really fast, so we're gonna pull more cards. <laughs> it's just, it's just very, very, it's just very explicit. Okay, I'm actually gonna use the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck for this one. have faith for my leaders. Let's see what we got here. Earthworm discomfort. <laughs> Earthworm is my zero point card. It's when you're at the beginning of something and it's really uncomfortable. It's really foreign to you. Um, shifting yourself into this place of accountability personal accountability to your emotions, personal accountability to any martyrdom, victimization that you do to yourself. Again, get, staying in this comfort zone where you ignore taking care of the things that make you unhappy so you can truly be happy. I, I gotta be honest, Leo, there's a little bit of a vibe of like, oh, woe is me kind of an energy going on here. And this is deciding not to do that anymore, not to partake in that anymore. Deciding, you know what, maybe I am sick and tired of this and maybe I do wanna finally just enjoy happiness and joy and and good things in life and allow myself to do that but to be accountable to myself and how i keep myself from doing that which again to me it's looking like staying within a certain comfort zone of behavior and lifestyle choices um and avoidance i'm getting a lot of avoidance here but earthworm is coming up to say that this is a very uncomfortable process for you leo to go here and to look at this stuff and take care of this stuff but it's very important that you do Getting out of your comfort zone is key right now, okay? Breaking your patterns and not doing what you've always done, right, is very key here. Talking about new beginning. Let's, let's look at what's on the other side of this for you. If you allow yourself to have these experiences, if you give yourself permission to have these experiences. Oh, of course, of course. Phoenix and Butterfly, <laughs> both speaking to ah, freedom and renewal, freedom and new life new experiences, but freedom is the biggest thing coming up here for you, Leos. New beginning, new energy, freedom. It also feels like a new life is almost what I want to say. New life, new life, new life, and things feeling really good. Again, this is available to you, but your experiences is limited to the parameters of your own belief, okay? Your own belief, your own stories, your own narratives, Let's see what else wants to come out for you. And then we'll move on to part two. Tell me about breakaway. away. 
Ooh. Ooh, we just got deep, Leo. Not that we haven't been deep already, but new layer just popped up. With the breakaway card, the grow and expand, this is the get out of your comfort zone, get out of the familiar, get out of who you've been, take accountability, go to places you haven't gone before within yourself and without all the things, right? We have wolf and golden egg. Golden egg is the heart chakra. Emotions, right? Emotions. Wolf is interesting because wolf has been coming up for the collective. Uh, wolf comes in a variety of flavors as far as like lessons are concerned and what have you. Sometimes it's a student teacher energy, a card of wisdom. Sometimes it's like an elder card because of that. Sometimes it's about community and your role in the community. Sometimes it's about your primal instincts, your raw nature. Leo, I feel like something else that's so beautiful about this, again, this, this element of freedom that can be had here for you is if you do this, if you allow yourself to go where you haven't before, if you allow yourself to be uncomfortable, break certain patterns, break certain perceptions, like really truly break it, there is a whole new discovery of self that's coming through here. For you, I'm getting the wolf is coming through as your, your primal self within your heart. That's what that feels like to me. Some of your deepest, truest desires that maybe you've even forgotten about, that haven't had the right playground, is how they're saying it to me, haven't had the right playground to frolic and be expressed and be embodied and be experienced because you've kept yourself in a box. You've kept yourself in a box. Some of you, it's like a pessimistic kind of an energy, like a negative way of looking at the world. Some of you have just kept yourself emotionally suppressed and in a box. Um, however you want to look at it, you've kept yourself in a box in some metaphorical way, physically, emotionally, energetically, et cetera. Okay. I feel like this is very Lilith. Forgotten desires, suppressed desires, your primal self wants to come out let's see what else wants to come out here for you anything else for my leos <laughs> overall we have the frog emotional clearing and cleansing like i said this is emotional this is emotional leo so go there, go there. And maybe this is starting off as a, life, uh, as a lifestyle choice, a habit, a behavioral pattern. But when you actually look at it and you decide, I don't wanna be like this anymore. Maybe it's, I don't wanna be judgmental. Maybe it's, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be so negative. You know, maybe it's things like that. And then you get into why you really are like that, right? It might be emotional. Clean it up, clean it up clean it up okay all right we're gonna dive into part two where i'm gonna pull some tarot cards and we might get a little deeper here i feel like there's a lot going on with this wolf and the golden egg there's a lot to be uh, they, they're saying of the self there's a lot to be discovered of the self and to allow the self to be free and to roam and express and all the things um it feels very fiery and sacral to me. So again, we're going to pull some cards and see what's going on there. But if this is where we depart, Leo, I hope this was helpful. I hope you feel supported and encouraged um, to break free, okay? And to break out of the box. All right. I will see you guys later. And if you're going to part two, I'll see you in a second. Bye, Leo.